welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you are new here, I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist. I'm also the owner of Norris Cove, which is an online stationery shop where we sell stationery goods such as budget information, budget inserts, and functional stickers. I also like to plan my life minimally and functionally using a planner. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment in the comment section, letting me know that you're new so that I can welcome you to the code. But today, you guys, we're going to do our close out. Finally, we have so much to do. I, I used to be like, uh, I don't have that much content to put up. Baby, I'm over flooded with content that I'm trying to fit it all where it needs to be. Let's get to our close out, you guys. So this was the month of February. Let me get a pen out so I can go over this. I think I've completed everything. I just went ahead and kind of did the numbers. I've kind of already closed it out, but I just want to go over it with you all. So for the month of February, let me, I do have some explaining to do, okay? Not bad explaining, but let me explain something to you. In one of my videos, I talked about how, let me go to my regular planner. That way it's a little more visual. I talked about how, how I calculate what I made for the month. As you can see, Friday and Saturday, it fell at the beginning of the month, which is the first and the second. What I do is take those two totals together, and that is going to continue on to the rest of March, okay? But then, for the month of February, let me see if I put it in here. So, yeah. So, what I did was, this is the total from these two days. Again, the first of the month fell on a Friday and Saturday, but everything here goes to January. So for the starting the month of February, we had $570 for these two days. Then I would calculate the next week, the next week, and then the next week. Well, and then here. And then so here for February, these days here was $770. I hope it's not confusing. It makes sense to me, but I hope it's not confusing. So what I did was that first week I made $785, but actually the beginning of the month was $570. That next week we did $1405. The week after that we did $1453. The week after that we did $1340. And then last week we did $1770. So if we add all this up together, I still came in over $5,000. So let's do $570. Plus 1405, plus 1453, plus 1340, plus 770, $5,538. Now, if we just did week to week to week to what we made, we're still at 5000 but let's do it. 785 plus 1405 plus 1443 plus 770, 5753. But I just realized something too. Last week, I'd have to redo that because last week we came in at 1491. We had guesstimated 700, which is still good because for the month it would have been 770. But if we tacked on that, we were well over. Let me add the difference. We're almost six. We're over six thousand dollars for the month. Perfect. Let's not even go there. <laughs> so for bills, we came in at we paid an extra one hundred and twelve dollars um, for last week. And let's do the bill total. So we're gonna just do actual. Yeah, let's just do actual three ninety four. Uh, 24 plus 784 plus 710 plus 553 plus, I forgot 81, and then 600 and 39 cents, 670 and 39 cents. So we came in at $2,912.44. That ain't making no sense for bills. Something's not adding up here. Well, let's go on. Savings, we saved a total of, I put down here 70. This is what we have left. And then over here, debt payoff, we paid a total of $616 in debt payoff. Here, 
Let's do the total and expenses. I have 344 plus 155 plus 301, 15 plus 6675, and that's $866.90. Sinking funds, we did 112 plus 166 plus 260 plus 254 plus sinking funds, 285. 1000 that's about right, $1,077. That's what we did in sinking funds. So now let's take this out and let's do our income budgeted for the month. Did I have a budgeted? Let's, I'm gonna add a budget. Let's see here, 700, 1300, 900, 13, Zero, zero plus seven seventy four thousand nine hundred and seventy. So let's come down here. We guesstimated four thousand nine hundred and seventy, and actually, I always keep it about four thousand. And then we ended up making fifty five thirty eight. Okay, bills we guesstimated. Hmm. Let's do a total. 424 plus 1165 plus 643 plus 1248, 1248.81 plus 557.54. We guesstimated hmm, 4,000. And 38, 38.35, and then we actually spent the 29, let me go over this number because something ain't right, 394.24 plus 784 plus 510 plus 553.81 plus Six hundred and seventy dollars and thirty nine cent. Yeah, two ninety one twelve for forty four. So getting right. <laughs> and then savings. We didn't really have a. That's yeah. That's about right. Let's do seventy. And then debt payoff. We guesstimated 469. We came in at 616. 16. Mm, look at those numbers there. And then expenses. Let's skip down here. Sinking funds. I'm gonna go to sinking funds right quick. We guesstimated 112 plus 35 plus 117 plus 153 plus 150. 767. That's what we guesstimated. And we ended up spending $1,077. Okay, now for expenses, let's see what we guesstimated here. 67 plus 80 plus 40 plus 67. We guesstimated 1,021. And we ended up spending 800. $66.90. So our budget is closed out. Let's take all of this, subtract from our total um, income. So we had 55, oops, 55, 38, subtract 2912.44, subtract 70, subtract 616, 16, subtract. 1077 subtract 866. That leaves us with $4.50. Something's not right. Let me try this again. Maybe I made a mistake. 5538 subtract 2912.44 subtract 70. 
subtracting, subtract, 616.16, subtract, 1077, subtract, 866.9. Yeah, we still got like $4.50. <sighs> hmm. That ain't making sense. I think that would probably be... I'm trying to figure out where we lost $4.50. Hmm. Let me go off camera and try to get these numbers right. Okay, you guys. So, I don't know where our $4 is coming from. Uh, let me... Everything added up perfect. I don't know where we're missing... $4.50. I'm going to try this one more time. Subtract 2.9. Yeah, I don't know. Let me try to make them even numbers. Let's try that. No. Okay, we don't know where the $4.50 went, and we, we can't worry about it. Because after I went back and made everything even numbers, it put me, like, at a negative 6. So, we're going to leave this alone. February's closed out. We're going to figure it out somewhere. Maybe these numbers that I put here aren't matching what's in here. But that's going to take a whole a different video. So, we are closed out for February. I hope that wasn't too long. <laughs> If, again, if you are new here, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.